hello engineers welcome back in this seventh video on ser i will explain the procedure for starting ser and the events which happens during the ser running keep the ser in auto mode on ercs mop and after selecting the auto mode the ser state will go to the standby then from mop a select the engine mode engineers as you can see you cannot select the tire three mode when engine is in bridge control first take the engine control to ecr match the telegraph handle to the bridge rpm and take the engine control to ecr engineers please note that i used to take the ecr control only to change over the engine mode once if you change over the engine modes to tire 3 once again you can give the control to bridge the ser will run even the engine is in bridge control then select the engine mode on mop and then select the tire 3 mode after selecting the tire 3 mode in ercs mop the ser state will go to heating the mop will request axillary blowers to start Engineers, as I said earlier in my SCR pressure control using CPART video about the pressure equalizing using RTV, you can see this on the wall state. And RTV is opening for 6% to equalize the pressure in the SCR reactor and exhaust gas receiver. Then, SCR wall state will change to SCR line minimum opening. Engineers, as I explained in my SCR wall function video, this is to ensure that turbocharger is getting enough energy. Then the SCR mode in heating continues up to the SCR reactor is ready for dosing temperature. In this period, the RTV will slowly regulate for opening and at the same time, this will ensure that the temperature difference between the reactor and turbine inlet to the predefined value. Engineers, please watch my SCR wall function videos to understand this. Then SCR wall state will change to automatic and heating of SCR reactor continues by slowly regulating the RTV. Engineers, as I said earlier in my SCR wall function video, only one wall control is possible at any given time so only rtv will regulate to open first after the rtv is fully open the rbv will start to close in this ercs mop you can see all the values turbocharger turbine inlet temperature scr reactor inlet temperature scr reactor outlet temperatures the nox values engineers when cbv is not opening the temperature difference calculation is taken between the scr reactor inlet and turbocharger turbine inlet 
when the cbv opens the fresh cold air from the scavenger receiver goes to the turbocharger turbine inlet so that the actual temperature difference between the scr reactor in and turbocharger turbine inlet will exceed the predefined value then the scr wall control will activate and start close the rtv in order to avoid this when cbv is opening the temperature difference calculation is taken between the scr reactor inlet and scr reactor outlet when this happens you can see this on the wall information screen together with the toggle switches engineers you can see now rtv is fully open now the rbv will starts to close once the rbv is fully closed and rtv is fully open the heating continues to bring the minimum dosing temperature for the scr reactor the minimum dosing temperature is 297 this has to come in scr reactor outlet the minimum dosing temperature ensures that there is no sulfuric acid condensation engineers as i mentioned earlier in my scr wall function video about the CB cbv function is to bring up the scr temperature now you can see this when rtv is fully open and rbv is closed the cbv starts to open to bring up the scr reactor for dosing temperature engineers as i mentioned earlier in this video when cbv opens the temperature difference calculation is taken between the scr reactor inlet and scr reactor outlet you can see this on this toggle switch the toggle switch switches to scr reactor outlet temperature engineers you can see once the reactor is ready that means the reactor outlet temperature is come more than the minimum dosing temperature the cbv starts to close then scr state will changes to dosing enabling in this period the urea pump will start the urea outlet has four outlets one is for main engine and another three is for auxiliary engines then the urea will dose to the mixing chamber by vaporizer with the help of assistor after the flow meter This is how the assist air will go to the urea nozzle. From urea pump, urea comes like this and through the flow meter it goes to the urea nozzle. Once the urea starts to flow, the SCR state will change to dosing SCR active from dosing enabling. Once the SCR is active, you can see the NOx reduction starts to reduce. So when you want to stop the SCR, click the SCR mode to stop. After that, flashing sequence starts. 
so this is the suit blowing air available to scr reactor to keep the scr reactor catalyst free from suit deposits once the flushing sequence is active the urea stops and the urea line is flushed with the compressed air in the urea dosing unit then take the ecr control and switch over the engine mode to tire 2 mode thank you engineers for watching please share and subscribe